<laughs> Aww. Sometimes this is just all the plot you need. <laughs> I like how shocked at that he's the, the evil dude. He's <laughs> 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 like, hi! <laughs> oh, meanie. Welcome to Iron Dinos. I'm Sean. I'm here with Adam. Hey! And we are looking at one of my favourite 2D platformers, Super Meat Boy, which is one of this month's games with gold. So, have you played much of this game, Adam? Uh, I've played the first little bit, just uh, <laughs> just before this recording. Um, but other than that, no, but I am super into it and I can't wait to uh, play the rest of it. Awesome. I am, as you can see from that map, I've played this before many times. I've gone through every level. I've gone through most of the bonus levels as well. Um, it's just an absolute blast. And that right there, this, this is the gameplay. This is what <laughs> the whole game is. Um, just ramping up to ridiculous degrees and um, there's a reason I've left it as it is skipping over the um, the end screens because that's the point of this game you can just play it as quickly as you want blast through it level complete on to the next one and it's the same thing when you die which I will show off in a bit <laughs> um, it's just the whole point is lightning fast gameplay um, that's one of the portals to one of the um, challenge levels. Oh, cool. um, that little purple one there. But yeah, that's the point of the game. Hold down run most of the time. Leap for your life. Get to Bandage Girl. And um, probably should have left in one of the animations. But um, Dr. Fetus appears and takes her again at the end <laughs> of each level. Then it shows you a replay. You can watch that as much as you want. And then boom! Next level. And this game is absolutely awesome. It never gets boring. There are several worlds and they do get tougher and tougher and tougher to an insane degree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, but the mechanics... Ooh, nice. <laughs> oops. <laughs> the mechanics never change up that much. It's, it's pretty much just this and you can... Uh, you can go. Now, it's one of the core conceits of the game. As you've seen, I've died a couple of times on this, yeah. and then I go back and have another try. And that's kind of that's why it's set up in the way you in the way it is. Because it absolutely does not stop you playing and does not stop you having fun. And you can <laughs> You see see me kind of curving back in and then going out again as I've given up. Because you can see how you have made the mistake. Yeah. It's not the game salt you cocked it up. Like, it's there, it's giving you all the tools, it's not that difficult. <laughs> you cocked that up. Try again! <laughs> it's so, so fun. I'm assuming the, the the grade it gives you at the end is time-based, not the route you take? Yes. Right. Yeah, no, it's time-based. Yeah. Um, I've got oh. A plus in most levels um, throughout the game, because it's just infinitely replayable. <laughs> like. Because you move so quickly and there's so much, um, for, despite all the levels being somewhat like this, they do add additional challenges later on. There's like heat seeking rockets, and, um, <laughs> and one of my favorites really made me laugh piles of salt. Because <laughs> obviously, <laughs> he's just meat without flesh, so <laughs> that would really hurt. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so it's, it's absolutely wonderful. Um, this game has a a bit of a uh, funny history as well because um, Peter, the animal rights people, oh, uh. they came for it. They thought it was um, because people were used dying and that. They thought it was a cruelty thing because they missed <laughs> the entire point of the game, which is that Bandage Girl, you know, fixes him up and makes him complete. And uh, 
meet little me boy doesn't want to be uh, a part of any of this. I, t I love them. I mean, you can see their baseline. He's touching everything and leaving a trail of blood, <laughs> which you then slide on. I could not get the timing right on this bloody thing. <laughs> yeah, he leaves a trail of uh, like blood everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and it stays, like, as you go through the level, it stays on where you've hit, which is wonderful. <laughs> um, but this is what I say when I, you know, I'm still a big fan of, fan of pixel graphics and stuff. And stuff like this is why you don't need any more complicated than what you can see on screen now to convey what this game is trying to do. Yeah. Anything else would kind of be cluttering up... Um, Cluttering up the screen and cluttering up the situation. The games of the, the graphics are very pleasant to look at. Meat Boy, if you look at him, he's got a few different like animations and um, stuff like that. He's got charm. Bandage Girl over there has got charm. <laughs> that little scream <laughs> hey! um, Yeah, there we go. Finally did it. Um, so yeah, I, I don't think a game necessary. I don't think a game like this necessarily needs any greater graphics than it currently has and it was originally a um i'm pretty sure this is the one that was originally made in flash yeah it was yeah because it was uh, new grounds yeah. so this was uh meat boy before it became super meat boy meat boy was um was on new grounds of flash the same as um alien hominid which is by the behemoth um the guys who made castle crashes oh, and yes. stuff that were played yeah, in the yeah. channel yeah, yeah um and uh what was the other one i really wanted us to play um Oh, they did. They did another one. It's called Bla Battle Block Theater or something. Oh, which oh, is awesome. Uh, oh, I remember you mentioning something about that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, uh, but yeah, back to this game. Yeah, it started as a new grounds thing, and they brought it over. This this was um, originally in Xbox's one of Xbox's early summer of indie games back when they used to have that indie section. Right. Yeah. And yeah, it yeah. did so well, and people loved it so much that. Um, Xbox published it to their platform and that. Um, but like I said, it's been a Games of Gold before. But something like this, a re uh, that was 2016, so six years ago, and something like this, something that is this good, I don't mind being a, a repeat game with gold, you know, yeah. six years on. <laughs> because no, everyone had an Xbox back then, and I want more people to play this game because oh. I absolutely adore it. There's like a... Um, when he gets hit, the screen kind of judders a bit, which gives it a feeling of impact. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think without that, it'd feel more weightless, but it gives the fact that it does that, like, you feel the impact a little bit. <laughs> I have to say, yeah, I, I like not, the not, smoothness not, of well, the controls. Right. Oh, yeah, it's really an absolute breeze to control. Yeah. It is as responsive as you could possibly want it to be. It's lightning quick. Yes, yeah, just perfect for this sort of game. Yeah, really, really good. Yeah. <laughs> I do like all the animation. <laughs> and this is the boss to the first level, so we're getting towards the um, towards the end now. I thought I might as well show off a complete level. Yeah. Dr. Fetus is a dick. <laughs> 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 yeah. He's coming at you this time with a crazy contraption. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I can but, see me dying lots in this. <laughs> <laughs> Despite what it looks like, this game actually does have something of a plot. And it does get increasingly bizarre as it goes on. <laughs> like, um. They, at one point, I'm not going to spoil the whole joke of it. But there's a clone, and it is ridiculous. I got very lucky there. Um, and it is ridiculous. And the clone has like a little story arc, quite an emotional story. It's so great. Um, but yeah, I love, um, just to start wrapping up, I love this game. Um, it's so much fun. I, again, I think the graphics are gorgeous for what it is. Um, it is one of the best controlling 2D platformers of all time. Um, what do you reckon, Adam, with the little bit you've played? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this is uh, a fantastic game. A fantastic uh, 
just a absolute mad sort of pedal pedal to the metal type of game. And, uh, yeah, absolutely love it. Really, really, really good. Definitely uh, advise downloading this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Super Meat Boy, it's friggin' awesome. It's free right now. Go get it. Go play the hell out of it and have the absolute time of your life with this gross, squidgy little boy. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> See ya!